your Toyota BC dealers presents BC Outdoors Sport Fishing. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh yeah. Hot fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Come on, <Heather. laughs> Oh, we got a quad. With there your way. host, Mike Mitchell. Oh, he's coming this way, Noah. BC Outdoors Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala, Yamaha, Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC, Port Boathouse, and the Pacific Salmon Foundation. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoors Sport Fishing. I'm your host, Mike Mitchell. Today we're in Mexico. We're staying at the Royal Solaris Hotel, which is in Los Cabos. This resort is a fantastic family-oriented resort. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna head out with Jim from Blue Sky Cabo. I fished with these guys last year, fantastic fishing, and I'm hoping that this year will bring us the same luck. Hey, Mike. Morning, Jim. How Welcome. are you? Good, welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't been too long. <laughs> I see you again. It's my son, Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Friend Paul and Paul. Tyler, Hi. and Hi. everybody, Mike Formuler. Hi, Mike. Hi there. Good. So we were uh, on the way here, all excited, of course, last night, very slept, worrying about uh, thinking about fishing and stuff. So what are we going to do today? Well, we got uh, options. We can go, yep. of course, go for some Dorado yep. and maybe some inshore. Okay. I'm going to say that if we can do some inshore fishing, we got some treats and tricks with us. Okay. I brought some light action gear, I brought some mooching <laughs> rods and some That's what I want. lighter action halibut stuff. So I think we could have a fantastic day if yeah. we get some, get some fish on this light action gear. So I think we should maybe go for that to start. Sounds good. I'm in. All right. I'm in. Enough talk, guys, on the boat? Yeah. Let's go. Everybody's excited. Yes, that's a screamer right off the bat again. Love it. Yes. Be there, be there, be there, be there. He's swimming with the boat right now. There we go. Feel a head shake. So tell me what's going on here, Mike. Well, we're fishing West Coast salmon gear in Cabo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so we'll see what this is. And we got uh, we got some Rapala uh, plugs on here. So again, something totally different again too, right? And you you heard that when that fish yeah, went it, off it the just, drag, I you started it, yeah. screaming, right? So um, so we got one to one ratio right now. Yeah, <laughs> on a mooching rod and mooching reel here. So normally, you know what? These rods can these rods and reels setups with this I, we can catch. 40, 50 pound salmon, not a problem, right? Okay. So I'm not too worried about the weight of the fish here, but just their, their teeth, we're a little I'm bit just, worried, right? About okay. the leader and stuff. So yeah. they've we've got a steel leader. Oh, there's some color down there. Let's see what this guy is. Oh, I got something. Not not big, kind of a cool looking fish. What was that? Trigger fish? Trigger fish, all right. <laughs> all right, that's something cool. I've never, I've, uh, I don't think I can say I've ever caught one of those before. <laughs> no, that's that awesome. So we think this might be a, another dolphin. He's up on the surface way back there. A little different. Smaller, lighter gear, huh? I love it. Yeah. And you're saying that not a lot of guys do this, but Rudy's here is kind of conventional, right? What they yeah. do. This is kind of really neat. I can see the surface out there, so I don't know what kind of fish it is. But we're not sure what it is yet. I can see them. We can see them. We can see a little bit of a wake there, but not really sure what species of fish it is. Like oh, there we go. Maybe Dorado. Yeah, Dorado. I can see. I just saw a color. Yeah. This is sure fun, though. D different from the last time we were down here fishing with you, because the reason all. You know, the heavier gear, right? Yep. That's just what the guys do down here. So this is kind of neat to use some lighter action gear. And all this really is, this is a halibut setup. It's a six foot rod with a, with a halibut reel, 130 pound braid. So we're kind of cranked up on the um, on the line. But but I also use this, this reel for sturgeon okay. on the Fraser, yeah. It's all right, there we go. So we're getting kind of closer now. These fish are just absolutely gorgeous. So the colors, I, I always say that. Like I just, you're, you're just amazed that the color and the and the, just the sheer strength of these fish, though, too, right? And another one for your uh, barbecue. Oh, Look at that. It. Beauty. Awesome. Jim, but I played a lot of baseball in my life when I was growing <laughs> up, and I've never seen a bat like this before. And that's, I just that's because of the Dorado's skull. They're it's so just, yeah. And they just attack their 
they use their, their fighting fish for their, their heads. Those are solid hits. Like those, yep. the wax that I was put on that fish, those are out of the park. Okay. Those are solid contact. And look at the back though. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Yeah. I don't know, Jim. We got some time left because yeah. I got to get something a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. I can hold it way out. That's Here, for hold, sashimi. Hold the, hold the fin up there on the top. There. Okay, there we go. Just yeah. gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. And fantastic eating fish, too. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Closed captioning is fueled by the Sport Fishing Institute of BC. All right. Oh, wow. A little lull in between, but that's okay. Saw some whales jumping. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I closed my eyes for a minute too. That's good. <laughs> so I guess we got that one on bait. We threw out the rappler rods and we had a Couple teasers up there just in case. So I'm gonna to try to bring this in and, and let it rest because I love keeping my Dorado in the water. Yeah. And hoping to grab its mate. Oh, okay. Because they're swimming in pairs right now, are they? Usually. And so that is that typically what you guys do, Jim, when you guys are fishing like that? You leave, try to keep this one in because yeah, the other one yeah. is following yeah, along? We, you always want to keep the Dorado in the water. Yeah, I see. Uh, the marlin jumping is no big deal. That's yeah. just typical action, but you get a, a Dorado jumping out of the water and giving you a wink. Yeah. <laughs> and then they throw that hook out. Yeah, it's not so good. Dinner and lunch are gone. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so when, when we uh, have our guests on board, yeah. I'll be working with them. And typically what can cause a problem with a Marlin or a Dorado is not watching how the line is spooling. Yes. Oh, 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 we got some action here. There we go. This is a good size. This is, is going to be nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, beautiful. I know you don't want to see that, but it looks yeah. really good. There you go. <laughs> this is probably a minimum 15 pounds. Yeah, beautiful. And so right now we're beginning of February. Uh -oh. oh, look at that. Beginning of February. And it's uh, obviously beautiful here. And again, people ask a lot of times why we're here, why we come down here. But when you see the weather that's going on right now in Vancouver, and of course you're from Edmonton, so. Yeah. 85, we, 85 degrees here. Yeah. Well, 20, 23, 24 Celsius from yeah. November through April. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a reason obviously, right? Look at the gold color oh. back there, beautiful. So we're gonna, tri uh, Mario, yep. do you see any other Dorado? No more? Don't see any? No? Okay. None. Yeah. Captain says no. So these fish too are phenomenal eating fish too, aren't they? Oh, they're, we can put them in, uh, uh, my favorite is coconut mango. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. A lot of the restaurants here will invite you to bring their fish to the restaurant. Yeah. Look at the blue tips and the fins. Sorry. Sorry, Jim. No, I'm going to stand back. Okay, well we're gonna, we'll gaff this one. There we go. We got him hooked up now. There we go. Okay, boated. Hey, uh, look, hey, at that. look at that. He's a little skinny. He's okay. long. It's a gorgeous fish. So that fish, let's, let's say. Let's take him off the gaff here. Yeah. So that fish is probably around 12 pounds. Yeah. So that fi this fish is only two and a half, three months old. What? Really? Wow. Look how fast they grow though, right? Six, that just... six pounds a month. Jeez. <laughs> nice. Look at the colors still, huh? Eh? Yeah. The fin, beautiful colors. Ah. You can't you can't cheat like that, Jim. Come on, You can't make it look like an 80 pound fish. That's what I yeah. 80 pounds. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Beautiful. There we go. Well you're up next. Colors. You're yeah. up next. Look Hopefully get some uh, action on this uh, salmon reels. Yeah, but that's okay though. That's yeah. a great fish, right? Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah, let's put them in the box, get the rods back in the water. Right. Learning with the pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. I want to talk to you a little bit about bringing your own gear and stuff down to some of these trips. Even though Blue Sky Cabo has great product and great gear, uh, we decided to bring down some of our own stuff, which is you know specialty items and stuff like that that we can utilize for fishing. Um, invest in a heavy case like this, travel case. You're going to probably pay an overage height, overage weight, or overage fee here 
but it's going to protect your assets for sure. Uh, fly rods, some of them do come with a metal case. If not, get yourself one. These are very important. Protect your fly rods. Not going to break. You're not going to damage them. Um, most of the reels nowadays come with a neoprene case. If you're going to throw it in your bag or whatever, throw this on it. It's going to protect it from knocking around, getting dented and scratched. And it's going to have a nice look when you get out. It's going to run properly too. When you're bringing flies and lures down, throw in a plastic case like this here too. They're going to keep them organized. They're also going to make sure that they're not all smashing together, getting flattened and stuff like that. And they're going to look nicer when you're uh, pulling them out of the box too. Lures as well, big case like this throw them in there and probably the most important thing is and whether or not this is going to help with the airlines or not is make sure your stuff's tagged with fragile and uh, again they're supposed to have some standards to take care of that stuff so this is going to probably help you protect your assets again so for more tips like these visit bcoutdoorsmagazine.com drop your anchor we'll be right back fish on let's get back to bc outdoor sport fishing No, you gotta get the drag. Dorado? Get the drag off. Hey, ah! A Dorado. <laughs> I'm gonna come closer to you, Mike. Just because I like watching you fish. Let me help you here. Oh, you've never done this before. <laughs> so, so kind of as you can see, we got another special guest on the show. A very familiar friend of ours. And we just hooked up a draw. This is kind of cool because we were actually pulling for rooster fishing here. And to get that Dorado in tight, that's really excellent, eh? <laughs> You Whoa. can just see them out here, yeah. And so this is, we're just free spooling, live bait, and it's really cool to feel it, isn't it? That nervous bait, it's starting to oh, swim well, away. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Then. Yeah. Here he is right here. Oh, he's gonna go down. There he is. Beautiful. Oh, look at the color. Nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> the bait fish is going. It wasn't happy. It knew something was chasing it. Yeah. So it's, we got a we got, a, we got a little bit of a mess here, but these are probably one of the best eating fish you're ever going to have. Love it. Yeah, fantastic. Can't wait. We're going to take this one, obviously, and we're going to throw them in the cooler with the other couple, and we're going to have some nice fresh fish tonight. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm, saliv it? I'm salivating right now. I'll figure something out. <laughs> we'll figure something out. That's cool. Got nice fish. Cabo. Yeah, nice. So we got Paul. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Amber, Amber, Amber Jack. Oh, right on. So we saw the pot of dolphins running around, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're chasing them. We had dolphins, sea lions, this amberjack, something special. This is on my bucket list. This is? This is one of my fish on my bucket list, buddy. No way. Yeah. Well, and this, if, for those of you who don't know, Paul's one of our friends from that came down with Cabos. We got our kids. Mike came down. We got a whole yeah. big family thing going down here, too. Oh, oh yeah. He's almost done. He's almost yeah, tired? He's almost done. He's on his side now. Oh, beautiful fish. Look at that fish. Keep going. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, it's okay. Oh, it snapped the line. Oh, but here's geez. something. Here's something that is awesome. Okay. You got that on <laughs> halibut gear with 30 pound fluorocarbon leader right to the boat, and we were That's we crazy. were gonna we were trying to figure out what we we're gonna do with it. That was awesome. That was awesome. Nice job. Thank you very much. Nice job. That was amazing. <laughs> All right, rods back down. How cool is that? So. We found that, we thought the dolphins had moved off after that, uh, that amberjack there that we just had. And we just saw, we saw bait fish being chased by a whole school of mahi mahi. And then we just broke, we just broke off on, uh, just broke off the main line on that one, a big screamer, double header for sure. And then we hooked up on this guy here and he took a screaming run again. So uh, everybody's excitement levels up. Cause this is probably like the number, this is probably the 10th fish we've hooked today. And it's been unbelievable. You ready? Okay. Okay, hold up here. Okay. okay. Tyler, you want to come over and coach? Come on over here. Come on to this side here. I'm going to let you get a crack in it too. All right. So you got to watch your rod tip, right? And watch for what it wants to do. Don't let go of the rod. Better? I'll always be reeling. Yeah. Always be reeling. Now, I have never seen something like that. Those bait fish, and there was how many of the fish? How many Dorado? 10, 15 chasing yeah. the bait fish? Yeah. Unbelievable. And this is one of the things that I was really key on is, you know, getting the family, getting some kids out. Just the whole experience. What do you think, Ty? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going down. That's a good fish. <laughs> yeah, he's fighting you good. <laughs> do you need me to step in for you? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good job. Good job. You want, you want to be bringing the, the, well, the rod back and then on the down. Right down, I can see I can see color. Can then bring it back up. I can see color. Keep going. What is it? Amberjack yeah. again. Amberjack. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't caught one of those. How are you feeling? <laughs> Good job. Yeah, the rappel a plug. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Look at that. Awesome. Wow, that's a big fish. That's a beautiful fish. Good hey, Ty. You know what to do, right? Just you gotta keep on hold reeling. up, hold up tight, and reel. Okay, hold on. Don't ever let go of this rod. Reel away from you, buddy. You got a dolphin fish on, mahi mahi or a dorado, whatever you want to call it. Three times. So we just had it came through again. Had two hits again, and we got young Tyler Alger on the rod. And your dad did quite a good job catching that fish, didn't he? Yeah. Now you can show him up, right? It sucks how the line snapped right there. <laughs> Don't let it happen to you, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> How's it feel, bud? Are you able to breathe? It's heavy. Are you? Are you excited? I want to see what it is. Oh, it's a dolphin. Or, uh, sorry, a Dorado. Oh, it's a good one! Oh, nice <laughs> yes! Yeah! All right, Ty, way to go, buddy! Whoa. Look at that Whoa. fish! Look at that fish! <laughs> nice job! Way to go! Beautiful, look at the blue. Oh, it's oh, gorgeous. Man. That's gonna taste good. You can eat it? Whole thing. That's your dinner tonight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Tyler, what do you think about saltwater fishing in Mexico? It's really fun. Good, good big, nice fish. <laughs> nice, nice, that a boy. Good job, way to go. Congratulations. That's awesome. All right, let's get him in the cooler. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Fish on! Let's get back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Tackle and gear. Here is what we've been using on the water today. Hello folks, I'm gonna to talk to you about the gear that we brought down to Mexico on our trip here. I started out today with 10 foot six classic mooching rods. Yes, 10 foot six classic mooching rods is right. Uh, we wanna try something a little bit different, so we decided to bring down some of our salmon gear. Paired it up with our classic mooching reels, of course. Pound test on the main line was 25 pound suffix, suffix line. Great, no problem there at all. So that, that's one setup we brought down. Uh, light action, great on the bite, and awesome fight with the Dorado for sure. Uh, second setup we brought was our halibut rods and reels actually. So we got a Benthos here with a six foot heavy action halibut rod. Now this thing was great again where some of the bigger fish we caught Dorado, we caught Amberjack, we caught lots of species on this thing and no problem at all with, uh, with handling it. We've used a 130 pound test was the, was the line we used today. Okay, and then some of the lures I brought down that really worked well, some of the Rapala and the Storm uh, bait lures here. So you can see a couple of different varieties here of the Rapala. So we've got the Rapala X-Raps and the Storm flat sticks and the flat stick jointed. And then the one that really worked well today and you can see by the teeth on it was again this Magnum Diver here. Great bait, you can see all the teeth marks on it. We caught several different species of fish on this thing and it was absolutely on fire all day today. So again, these are some things that we brought down to Mexico. I suggest when you come down to take part in this fishery, bring some of your own gear down too. All tackle and gear is available at Harbor Chandler. Yeah! Yes! Oh no! Yeah, it's right there. I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> oh, look at them all! Okay. He's on one there. Okay. Well, okay. we got one here on this gear. We got a second one. I just lost the fish. I died, lost one. It went. It was flying across the surface. And I got another one on here. He's, he's on. There we go. There we go. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yes, he's on. <laughs> I know I have a free spool here. I gotta get the drag on. There we go. Oh yes. Oh, that's awesome. He came back four times. I'm not even kidding. I lost him over here and he followed the bait again. Four times he came. Awesome. Oh. And he just absolutely corked my fingers on that one. Jim, how's yours, Jim? I, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I, good? I, I'm liking, I'm liking this. <laughs> this is awesome. 
I absolutely got my fingers ratcheted just there. Uh, so cool. I like mine. Mine's, uh, I think mine's about 20, 20 pounds. Is it? Yeah. Nice. See there? Color. Big, big. Well, they're, they're green in the water, and then when they lose their blood flow after the baseball bat, uh, they actually turn to a silver. And it's kind of cool. Uh, but I love, I love Dorado because it, it just, I'm a fan for mango and coconut. And uh, here in town, they, they, you can take your fish to the restaurants. It's between six and twenty dollars, depending on what restaurant you go to. And uh, it's just a feast. It's amazing. Yeah, that yeah, one, yeah, yeah. Keep that, that one's kind of little guy. What do you mean? Look at that. This is on salmon gear. You're using halibut gear. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm clubbing them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Nice Mikey. job. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Okay, uh, big Mike. Yeah. I want you to I want you to gaff mine. Okay. This is it you just want me to see how big this fish is, Jim? Is that what you're trying to say? No, no, no. It's, okay. this is a big one. It's it is. Look at the it. draw. Look at the draw. Look at the color on this thing. This is gorgeous. Yeah, I love it when the sun hits them. What a day. This has been fantastic. And different varieties of types of fishing too, right? Well, lighter there, action there, gear. There, there's a quote from Jacques Cousteau. Yeah. And he's called uh, Cabo the Aquarium of the World. Yeah, and you can see why, right? Hey, there we go. <laughs> Look at this. Double header, Dorado. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, mine's bigger, thicker, yeah, stronger. Okay, whatever. I got mine on mooching gear. You got yeah, your yeah. gear. We'll call it even. Beautiful. What a day. Well, let's put these guys in the cooler. Dinner time. Awesome. Wait, well, that was what, fantastic. What a day. The excitement, like when we get those fish coming up and these guys are so spot on with yeah. what they're doing, it just makes things so much easier, right? Like we're kind of just talking away and they're like, fish, fish, fish. <laughs> we're running around like a fire drill here. Awesome day. Thank there you so go. much for having us, Jim. Oh, was Fantastic. This is just a beautiful, we get spoiled rotten and <laughs> I, uh, I can't say enough how much fun we have. And well, thank you guys for joining us on BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We look forward to having you join us on a future episode. Your Toyota BC dealers presents BC Outdoor Sport Fishing, made possible by Rapala, crafted from experience. Yamaha, conquer outdoors. Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC, making fishing in BC even better. The Pacific Salmon Foundation, bringing them back stream by stream. Port Boathouse, our official servicing dealership, along with 